Okay, today is our first um, session on ABAP. Let's first discuss what is advantage of non-ERP, sorry, ERP over non-ERP. The advantage is very simple and apparent. Not only this is centralized, but the presentation, the format, the pattern, uh, the screens, the ERP, the framework is all centralized. Okay. The ERP, of course, eliminates data islands into centralized or better or integrated areas. Okay. Which you can say functional areas. So as a ABAP, as ABAP consultant, what will be your role? Changes to repository. What will be your job? Now, a changes to repository means that you will be working with tables, data, logic, integration, data flow, workflow, okay, and so on. Object change. Now, what is object change, basically? Object change is that in SAP, there are T codes for processes, okay? Like, for example, if I go, if I go to VF0, 902 items. So if you look at this screen, this will be universal for every SAP ERP anywhere in any company. The screen will be the same for this transaction. That is universal and centralized. Okay. Yes. Now, the, these T codes always point to processes. Now, this is a process where the customer has to pay a certain amount against the material which has been sold to this customer so changes in can mean that there is functional change or business process change okay on the screen yes. for example we want to see a field for ntn for tax for tax registration or previous balance or last paid balance that can be pulled over here so that we can know we can sell this product to this customer or not. Okay, that is process change. So, extensions, yes, as I've told you, extensions can be like functional add ons, like text field, NTN field, last payment amount, and so on. Customer developments. Now, customer developments can be that this field has to be integrated with POS systems. That integration will be part of ABAP's job role. Enhancements. Now, enhancements basically working, for example, work. Uh, if I go to SE93. VF02 Now over here I can change programs this is from VF02 the same transaction that we were looking at and we have programs over here this can be enhanced for business processes okay modification yes. again modification as I told you adding a field or logic or calculation or report all comes in modification. So let's write, let's write a program. This is how the program will actually look like. SC38. <clears throat> all programs in ABAP start with Z or Y, ZT 60, 
एट ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ मार्च प्रोग्राम Fourth March executable program. Now this, what we are writing right now is going to be executed, but we can also write include programs, function groups, subroutine interface. We'll be discussing all of these till class. What is the status? Is it a test program or it is a live program? Okay, we can choose any. Authorization group is used for user. Specific users who can be allowed to run this program, they are given a code authorized, which is then attached to this program plus to their user profiles. Application for which module are we going to run this program for, like uh, cost accounting, asset accounting, or general ledger, or human resources, or sales, whatever, warehouse management, whatever. This is logical database. Logical database is used heavily for modules like HCM, where logical database outlines tables and fields, and you can use that to integrate with custom programs for customizing customizing your modules. Okay, let's save it. Local object. Now, over here, this is a simple program that we have written. Anything that you see over here in blue is a keyword from a uh, from SAP. Okay, a keyword, a syntax to define, either define logic or variables. Over here, it says report because this we are going to execute, so it's going to produce some result. That's why it's called a report. Okay, since it's not a function or a module that we are preparing or transaction, that's why it's a report. So data, now data keyword actually defines or signifies that whenever it is written after that, what will follow is a variable. A variable over here is V result. V in V result means variable, which will be of type. Uh, this is again keyword, I integer. Parameters, now parameters is a keyword, which means that next variable that we are going to define will capture input, okay? So P over here shows, this is industry practice that P is defining, denoting parameters, type I. And every syntax in SAP or every statement has to end with a full stop, okay? But if you want continuity, you add a comma and continue the next line, but it will again end with a full stop. So we have two parameter fields, type integer. And we are going to compute these two fields, these two parameters, and then write the V result. Check, activate, Okay, 7699, 7524, okay, 1212, 144, okay. So this is how, but this was a very simple program that we have written, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, now, <clears throat>
Okay. So SAP namespace, SAP namespace and customer namespace. So changes that are done to SAP programs with modifications, it is done in the standard code. Okay, you can change the code, but of course you make a clone, a copy of that and then change the code. Customer namespace is enhancement. You build a new module to integrate with SAP and that is customer namespace. So customer development basically includes building complete modules, okay? And that are totally different functions that will be built. Modifications, changes to SAP objects such as programs and table definitions are called modifications, okay? The programs that we are writing over here will change and uh, we will also use tables. As I said, if we want to change, a add some fields to a transaction that will be called, that will come under modifications. So a repository in SAP is not only extended, but can be changed. Repository is, of course, the data storage, how it will be saved, how the pattern will be saved, how the tables will be aligned, integrated, is all part of a uh, part of modifications. Upgrades or importing support packages, you will have to check these modifications against new repositories. Now, whenever there are uh, version upgrades, so old code programs get sidelined or not, they are not supported. So they stop working. So you have to build these modules, functions, programs again, whenever there is a new version, okay? In enhancements, it is basically adding customer specific objects to your repo repository. And there are specific places in coding known as customer exits, user exit, where own objects can be supplemented in SAP standard system. So SAP has, let's say, SAP 93, change, double click program. Now, this is the program that is running that transaction. We have include programs over here. We can change an include program. Okay, again, we have a include program over here. I'm double clicking it. Okay, and this is again a module that comes up and each module is basically becoming a part of the include program. So modifications has modules and modules can be changed in the standard. That is again part of the ABAP. Okay. Yes. So I can add my own functions over here for my customer. Okay. So these are the screens. I can change all these modules. If if you look fields over here, I can add fields. I can add my own functions, and of course, it becomes uh, a complete new changed module in the SAP standard for the customer. Okay. So in customer development, SAP you can create your own repo objects. That means tables, programs, and transactions can be made. And it happens with custom namespace, which is Y or Z. Any customer development, which is outside of SAP, but has been, been developed in SAP starts with those programs or modules and Functions start with Y or Z. So there are various types of applications in SAP, like reports, interfaces, conversions, extensions, forms, that we will be looking at very, very comprehensively. Okay. SAP inbound interface are those which communicate with outside software and load the data from outside software, and it is built and extracted into the SAP database. Outbound, outbound interface is that SAP data travels through ABAP into the external database. So we will be developing quite a lot of uh, 
assignments. We'll be working on these. Okay. And uh, we'll be working on a number of assignments. These are the assignments that we will be working on. Okay, so there are many. So there is a lot to cover and we'll cover it one by one. 